All right, Christmas is coming. Here's another guitar I just uh, finished about two months ago. I haven't put a lacquer finish on it yet. This is Brazilian tulip wood. It's a rosewood from Brazil, and uh, it is fantastic. It is beautiful. Holy Grail on fret 12. Gold anodized fret wire. Gold uh, Spurzel tuners. It's got a graph tech nut on there, and uh, it just sounds fantastic in and out of phase if you want it and these are William Wiggins pickups these are amazing these pickups they're uh Wiggins brand and he's amazing he takes two fender uh pickups and makes a humbucker out of them there's no bar magnets and so they sound so alive and energetic like super Van Halen Hendrix I really like it uh, we're gonna play it now it's 27 frets jumbo gold anodized this also has the Rushmore uh, uh, ABM bridge that uh, Peter Baraski made for me. Steel saddles, and uh, the ball ends are still on the string back there. See that? You don't cut them off. And that makes a big difference for vintage twang, as you're about to hear. So, without any further ado, oh, I'm playing again through the uh, Rushmore Holy Grail bridge. And it is just fantastic, this bridge. Hold on a second. There. It is just fantastic, this bridge. I mean, this amp. Uh, Charlie Plate made me this amp, and it is just fantastic. It's a Fender Twin Reverb. It's got dumble switches on it, and uh, the back end is all is all EL3400 watt Marshall Marin Transformer. The front end is a Fender Twin, so it's super clean, and then uh, but it's powerful. It's like a super rock. It's the opposite of what's going on today with the with those fake, what do you call them? Kempers and all those fake amplifiers. This is the real deal. We don't play around with fake amps or fake guitars. This guitar is fantastic. It's all one piece of wood. It's all one piece of swamp ash. And uh, this is just, you're about to hear a great guitar. Uh, I, I really am proud of this build. I've never seen a uh, Firebird or a strat made with Brazilian tulip wood in the history of guitars. But there's probably another one out there somewhere. Certainly fingerboards somewhere. But I don't know about the whole top of the guitar and also one piece of swamp ash. I don't see that happening. Let's turn it on and give it a listen. Tell me what you think. I'm really confident in this guitar. Let's give it a listen.